Hey everyone before we start this journey together i wish to tell you the story of my life i am just sebastian and strangely enough choosing the name for myself was my first declaration of freedom as a 4 year old i was born in this beautiful village in kerala where once many brooks and paddy fields used to lift one's heart and soul as a kid I used to love evening walks in my village and reading patriotic stories. My biggest regret back then was I couldn't take part in struggle for independence and die for my country. Little did I know that life takes one beyond spaces demarcated with borders and boundaries. As I turned 16, I had decided on what I wanted to become in life. an environmentalist i found happiness in connecting with nature around me also an amazing teacher with her remarkable way of teaching plant science inspired my decision thus my first ever train journey was 3 day long to dehradun in the middle himalayas to study forestry in the glorious forest research institute but being in a culturally different part of india was challenging for me in the beginning gradually i grew up to love the long cold winters beautiful birds and the lovely people i ran into these two years introduced me to my own new versions that i never knew existed i was born again in the himalayas being a student with With little money i embarked on a 3 day train journey to the northeast in india in 2009 i had just one contact number and nothing else but i succeeded in it this was my first adventure into the unknown it was a blessing to explore the kashmir himalayas in post winters to study asiatic black bears in the forest the snow clad roads Kashmir stag snow melt rivers and the bear cubs i encountered in the forest brings back such poignant memories i followed my heart and moved to the northeastern himalayas of arunachal pradesh upon completion of my masters the next 3 years i worked traveled and lived in the himalayas of arunachal and in the flood plains of assam i studied intelligent primates and exquisite butterflies in this breathtaking landscapes the more disconnected i was from the mainland the more happy i was it was a test of my passion and courage that i had to cross the ferocious brahmaputra on a scrappy jankar every month to reach my remote village hidden in the forest the calm and quiet villages primitive indigenous cultures with simple and earthy life snow clad peaks virgin forests blood sucking leeches and mighty rivers made my personal life simple and minimalistic these wild years made me stronger and tougher as both a woman and individual it was by the end of 2013 I initiated my doctoral study in the Western Ghats. Then I came back home and moved to Kochi. The next 5 years was a wonderful roller coaster journey for me. My research enabled me to explore the magical forests in Kerala, investigating secrets behind orchids. As a researcher, I earned grants, awards, project funds and recognitions. but later due to different factors i developed fear stress anxiety joining many phd scholars worldwide i wanted to escape what i started i couldn't consider getting back to my work and finishing it but with tenacity and confidence i survived the dark woods and found the guiding star at the end Life taught me a lot in these years. I bowed down before those hundreds of women and few men who fed me 
sheltered me and showered kindness on me during my countless travels. As I was on a quest to find eco-friendly menstrual practices, I stepped into eco-feminism and feminine spirituality to know more about the earth and self. I found joy, peace, beauty and love in embracing the earth. This was enough for a spiritual awakening and adopting an earthy life. I now follow minimalism and a low carbon footprint life. I practice detachment and feel home everywhere I go. I thank those women who inspired my choices in life. I learned this. The highest form of divinity human can accomplish is love. In order to do this, one has to connect with self, people, and the earth i realized life itself is the purpose today i find myself as part of the earth i keep my hunger for ancient wisdom alive to experience my own truth therefore i'm going to share with you my journey as a woman and individual towards everything life offers in its true sense. Let's unlearn things that we have learned and relearn to survive. Let's learn together gratitude to embrace the earth and the gift called life.